Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial for EdPy. In this video we're going to be talking about strings and lists. Both strings and lists are a way of Edison storing a longer piece of information which Edison can then use later on to do interesting and weird and wonderful things. Strings in EdPy are dedicated to you for use with songs and tunes. So if we have a look over in the help text over here, there is a couple of ways you can set these up, but there's also a whole bunch of stuff in here that determines what notes and how long each note is going to play for when it is placed into a tune string. So it's very useful to read through all of this stuff to build up your tune strings. Now, as I said, there's a couple of ways you can determine how long the tune string is and what it actually has in it. And both tune strings and lists actually have two different ways you can set them up. You can either set them up like I've done in the first line where you give it a length and then you give it the initial value or you can set it up like I've done in the second line and just give it an initial value. Now, that means that I can actually hit comma here and then add my own list in if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to because you can also see underneath that that you can actually set each of the elements in the list to whatever you like. Now, both strings and lists are what they call zero indexed, which means that the first element is in the zero position. So as you can see here, we've got moves at position zero is being set to ed.forwards. And that means that the first thing in this list is ed.forwards. And then moves at position one is equal to ed.spin left. That means the second element in this list is ed.spin left. Now, these are just constants, so they are just numbers, which means I can save them into my list of moves and then I can use them later on in the program. So this is, uh, like I said, tune strings and lists. Then using those things, you actually, for a tune string, you need to use those through the ed.play tune function, which we have down here. It takes a song as uh, a tune string as an argument, and then it will sit there and play it. Now, the only thing about this is that Edison doesn't stop and wait to, for this tune to finish when you set a tune going. This is so that you can start playing a tune and then have Edison drive or wait to do other things. Uh, in this case, I just want this song to start playing and Edison to do nothing until the song is finished. So I need to use this little loop down here to have Edison wait. So what this is, it's while ed.music uh, read music end, which tells me if the song is finished or not, is equal to music not finished. Basically, this line says, while the song is still going, do whatever's inside the loop. And in our case, this is the word pass. Now, pass is a special word for Python, which basically means do nothing and move to the next thing. And it's really helpful in cases like this because it means that this loop can do nothing in the loop. And basically all it's doing is checking this one condition that I've set up here, which means as soon as this song is finished, it's really, like, really quickly going to jump down to the next element. Uh, so the next thing down here is showing you how lists work. So this, I'm using these moves that I've set up in my list and I'm actually using them in an ed.drive. So what happens is for i in range four, which means that i is going to go from zero to three and it's going to go up by one each time the loop loops round. So that means the first time this happens, i is going to start at zero. So ed.drive is going to have moves at zero, which is this ed dot forwards up here. So it's going to go forwards at speed of five for 20 centimeters. And then the loop is going to loop back around. I is going to go up one and become the number one. And then the ed dot drive is going to have moves at one, which in this case is spin left. So that's going to spin left 20 degrees. And as you can see, as that continues to cycle, it's going to do forwards, then spin left, then forwards, then spin right. Uh, so of course I could also set up a different list if I wanted to, an extra list and change the duration for each of the moves based on a different list as well. Uh, so there you go, that is lists and tune strings here in EdPy. Hope you've enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next video.